All right, so how to download Vimeo videos on Windows because I got some requests to do a Windows version, so here goes. Basically, you follow these same steps, except that it changes a little bit probably here. Um, so I'll just go through it really quickly. You first want to find a window where the Vimeo video is that you want to download. So for example, let's say that I'm on here and I want to download this video. In and Vimeo series I can, real world view three course. Gosh, sorry about that. I can right click and inspect. And in here in the elements side, you want to find the player.vimeo.com thing right there. That's the video. So click that, select it and put it up here. You don't need anything after the question mark, but that is the URL of the Vimeo video. So now that you have that, this is where we're going. So I'm going to use stream link just like I did in this video, except that I haven't used windows in 10 years or more. So I just downloaded parallels desktop for Mac here so I can emulate it and just give it a try. This might not work. I don't know. So how to install stream link. Well, first you're going to need to install a package manager. So I'm just going to use scoop. So I don't have scoop yet, but on my windows machine, I'm going to download scoop. So let's see. How do we do that? All right. So on your windows machine, look for PowerShell and run it as an administrator. Then we're going to install some stuff. So we're going to run this command. Then we're going to run this one. Okay. Let's try it not as an administrator first. Let's run this command. Then this one. That should install scoop. Okay, cool. I already have it. Then we need to, I believe, let me try something. We gotta install git. And I'll give that a minute. Oh wait. And all right, cool. All right, so I think I got it now. So this is what we do. Uh, you're gonna open PowerShell and then you're gonna install those two things. Then you're gonna close PowerShell. Sorry, this is Windows, it's kind of weird. And then open PowerShell as admin. Then you're gonna type scoop install 7-zip. Let's hope this works. Sorry, not 7-zip, git. And then we're gonna install Streamlink. Let's just keep trying and seeing if this works. All right, I'll let this install. Cool. And then scoop install stream link. All right, so we've opened PowerShell and we have basically put those two commands in. Then we close it and open PowerShell as an admin and install Git. You can try and run this here. It might work for you. I'm in a virtual machine, so it's a little bit weird, but try. you can try this one. And if not, just close it and do it as admin, um, whatever. Then you're going to install Streamlink with these things. Cool. Now let's see if it worked. So we had uh, this Vimeo video URL. And what we want to do is we want to construct basically this thing here. So you can see, I'm not actually sure. Let's see, can I go to the desktop? Wow, that was stupid. Let me just see if I can do this outside of an admin real quick, because that would be cooler. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to CD just to the desktop. 
So I'm on the desktop here. Oh, crap. And we're basically going to try and run. We're gonna, so we're going to type stream link and we're going to put in that Vimeo URL. Best quality forward slash O. And then whatever you want the output path to be. So in this case, since I'm already on the desktop, I'm just going to say that. Let's see if this will use it. Okay, cool. Alright, is this downloading to my desktop? Can't tell. Okay, there it is. Um, but, I'm here on Windows and that seems to work. Is my, I think it's because I'm in like a, a virtual environment and I have a, a file system mount, so things are a bit weird. Where is desktop? I mean, I'm looking at it, obviously, but... Okay, that should be what you have to do. You basically just have to get Streamlink on your Windows machine. And they use PowerShell, which is a little different than Terminal. I don't really know it that well, so that's why this is a little bit rocky, but, you know, whatever. If I have to do more of these, maybe I'll get a Windows machine. Let me just see what they're doing here. And if I go to, I don't know the desktop, but let's see if this works. Oh yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. So I think what I think I know what's happening. I think it's downloading to um, users. I think it's downloading to a mounted file system on my machine. Let me see if I can find it. These are my Mac files. Is this it? No, that's some other crap. I don't exactly know where this saves to in a virtual machine, but you should have it on your desktop. Ah, okay, I found it. Um, so this is like not a real Windows desktop. You will see yours just on your desktop. This is like a virtual machine desktop showing my Mac files, but if I go to this PC and I go to this and I go to users, desktop, here's the Vimeo video downloaded. So. Once again, just to go through the steps, um, you're going to open PowerShell, and you're going to run this and this to install Scoop. Then you're going to install Git, and if that doesn't work, you can just close PowerShell and open it as an admin, and then run it. So hopefully you understand that. Then you're going to install Streamlink. And once you've done that, that's you only have to do that once, ever. And then from then on, if you want to download Vimeo videos, all you have to do is type Streamlink, then the URL, then the quality you want, which is probably best, then this for output, and then where you want it to go on your machine. Obviously, replace that with your user. And what you want it to be named, and then you should be good. So since I already have it here, I can just go find another Vimeo video, I guess, somewhere. I don't know, wherever. Here's another one. Welcome, my name is Ben Hong and I'm a View Core team member and I'm excited to be your guide. Sorry about that. All right, there's the player. So now we can go back to Windows and do another one. Stream link, paste the thing in. You can delete all the stuff after the question mark, including the question mark, best dash O, and then the place where you want it to be downloaded to, users, your username, desktop, let's say, video2.mp4. See, I didn't have to do all that stuff in the beginning again. And let's go see. Go to your PC. Go to, oh crap, users. 
video too. So, there you go. Windows it is. <laughs>